Mark Irene, good morning. Definitely a backdrop, a, a sight to see for sure here at Exposition Park. Let me step out of the way. Uh, 24 hours ago, that huge orange fuel tank was still being hoisted. And let me tell you, crews have made significant work overnight. And let me tell you, crews are still out here moving that crane up into scaffolding, preparing the final position for that orange fuel tank that's now standing parallel next to those two rockets and now crews were seen lifting the fuel tank moving it into position friday morning and let me tell you crews continue to work taking another big step getting the retired space shuttle endeavor in place for its final position here at the california science center now crews they use a giant crane to lift the tank into the air while delicately placing it in vertical position as part of the upright display of the space shuttle endeavor now the shuttle's new home will be called the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center. The center will add 200,000 square feet to the site. The shuttle will be placed vertically and the gallery's highest point will be at 200 feet. Now the California Science Center Foundation has raised nearly 300 million towards 400 million campaign goal for Endeavor LA. Now the fuel tank is one of the last of its kind. This, this external tank, uh, ET-94, is the only remaining flight-ready external tank in the world. This was the major component of the space shuttle that was expendable. It carried all the propellants for the main engines, and when they got into orbit, they would jettison it and it would burn up on reentry. This one was the one not used of the 136 made. It weighs about 65,000 pounds now while empty. When it was on launch, it would be about 1.7 million pounds because of all the propellants. And it's been an exciting journey for many, especially Angelinos, just to follow the path of the space shuttle Endeavor, as we saw years ago, just moving through the streets of L.A. Then uh, a few months ago, we saw those white rockets as well coming from uh, the IE out into Los Angeles. And of course, just very exciting out here. Now, officials say the next component to install here is the actual space shuttle Endeavor itself that could happen happen within the coming weeks. As of now, no official day as for the grand opening for the center. For now, reporting live from Exposition Park, Eric Resendiz, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Man, it is good. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.